Hey, how's it going everybody? My name is Colossalis. Welcome back to another Heroes of the Storm video. Holy shit. It's been a long time. It's been such a long time. I've been just focusing on, on Twitch and I dropped Twitch and then I came back to Twitch and then I did more Twitch and then I bought a Switch. Why does it all rhyme? <laughs> I don't know, but I'm excited to bring back some Heroes of the Storm content. I've been spamming a lot of supports, you guys know me, I love my supports. Um, and I've been having a plenty of fun with Anna and Alex Truss. Alex Truss and more, but Anna has been my bae as well. And I decided to kind of maybe record a little bit of a gameplay with her. She only has one build at the moment, I just believe that this one path is, um, is I think, the only viable path. And that's going to be the Sleep Dart. Um, and I'm not gonna talk why because it's just, <laughs> that would, this video would be like 50 minutes long, but I just wanna get a good gameplay, show you guys how she is played, and just have, just have fun, and hopefully entertain you guys. So let's get into it and share some of my support secrets. Anna, checking in. All right, boys and girls, we find ourselves on the tomb of the Spider Queen against a triple tank composition. We have Murden, Zarya, Leoric, and Alex Strasa with Hanzo, which is, I think, a very, very scary team. And I think, like, this comp could be, like, HGC worthy, I think. I think Triple Warrior is very underrated, in my, in my opinion. And then we also have, on, on the friendly side, we have Zul. On this map, it's actually pre Pop Champ. We have Johanna, Rainer, Sylvanas, and Anna. So level one, we went for Piercing Darts, which is a, which is a quest at, um... When we, uh, when we hit people with our E, which I'll explain in a second, uh, its range is increased, and it will now hit, hit two heroes, so potentially even faster stacking, and, and then at 20 stacks, it is going to inc improve my Q, and my Q basically is my bread and butter of my healing. It is my healing dart. It's a, it's a long range skill shot, very similar to a snipe from Nova, but rather than doing damage, it actually heals your friendlies. So you can see I can I, you know I can do it over walls. Our team is just going ham. I can throw my W, which is my grenade. Grenade is very very cool because uh, to friendlies, what it does, it heals them and it gives them additional healing. I'll be able to uh, to heal them additionally. Plus, like if they have their their own self heal. Um, I'm gonna hit her with a sleep, and now apply my trait. Deal a lot. A lot of damage. So yeah, um, it's going to increase uh, the amount of healing. So Meridian's here. I'm gonna sleep in. I'm gonna heal our Zul, and it's gonna be all good. I want to get one more order to f to max out my stacks. But looks like I'm not gonna get it. So I'm just gonna focus on healing my teammates. I'm gonna get a guaranteed stack here, so I'm gonna take it. Uh, maybe we can get this as well. We don't get it. We don't get it. All right. So again, a Q heals, skill shot, blah blah blah. W uh, a long range skill shot. Again, if it hits a friendly, it will heal them and give them additional healing, um, potential additional healing. I'm gonna hit her with that. To get another stack here. But if it hits enemies, it will deal a little bit of damage to them. But what's important is that their healing, uh, the healing that is done to them will be reduced by 100%, which, yes, you heard it here first. Well, not maybe here first, but you heard it here, right? Oh, you're fine. Um, they're going to have their healing reduced, so I can do some funky stuff with this Leoric, for example, if he tries to... Um... Oh, sidestep king? Guys, you guys don't even know about it. <laughs> we can go for overdose level 2. Uh, at level 4. NRE is basically a sleep dart. It's a very, 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 very um, small, long, but um, thin skill shot, you can see. It's much thinner than my Q. And what it does, if I hit an enemy, I will put them to sleep for three seconds. I can just do this. Which is which basically acts as a, as a mini stun. I'm gonna go, go with W, reduce his healing, and he's dead. I actually got one more auto on him, which secured us a kill. 
Um, so yeah, it will put them to sleep, and then if they take any damage, they will wake up. But what's important is that uh, that CC uh, of putting somebody just to sleep. That's that's what's really important about that. And also, you can just take somebody out of the fight. It's like a mini cocoon. I like to think of it. There's that. And I also have. Uh, I also have. Uh, you might be asking, what are these little uh, these little like traps next to somebody's health when they auto attack them? That is called Shrike, and that is my. Uh, that was my trait. Basically, when I auto attack somebody, I apply a stack to them. A stack. I, I don't think I deal damage on auto attack, but I apply a stack of my of my trait, which basically what it does is going to deal some damage over time to them, and uh, I can stack it up to five. And the more the more stacks they have, the more damage they will take over that time. So I'm gonna try to sleep the extra. She's gonna dodge it. That's fine. As long as I keep trying, honestly, right now I'm just I'm just trying to stack it to the, 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 the best of my ability. I just miss that globe. My life is my my life means nothing right now if I, if I miss a globe. Rainer might be in a little bit of trouble. I can uh, come up here and try to help him, but looks like he will be just okay. So at level four, we did go for our E, which is basically when we hit somebody with our E, we're gonna apply three of those doses of um, of my of my Shrike. Which basically is going to give us healing. Ah, I didn't talk about that. Uh, so our trait used to just deal damage, but now um, Anna was very good in in, in uh, double double support compositions, basically, right? Because obviously she didn't have any self sustain, which is a problem when uh, when you're trying to uh, to survive. Wait, she's going to pop a dragon. Which oh, get wrecked. Wait, why did you do that? Alright, let me get my stacks on her. There we go, my stacks are done. I'm gonna try to get some on the... On the Zarya. I think it's fine. Nap time! But, uh, and they said they actually, they do want her to be more meaningful and they, they do want her to be a solo support material. And what they decided to do is for the damage that you deal, for, for some of the damage that you deal, you also be healed. You will, so you basically ha you, you basically have self sustain. So basically, what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna sleep him, I'm gonna increase the healing that I can do to my friendly Johanna here, who is in a little bit of a heated situation. I miss my Q. She is playing with fire. And I don't like it. Ooh. Missed that. We had 10 stacks, so we will have the increased range. I missed from point blank range, boys. Gonna grab some mana here. You can see Ana is a little bit uh, on the intensive side when it comes to mana, especially when I'm spamming like heals. Like, if I didn't have to spam my heals, I would have been very much okay. Oof. I'm waiting for them to group up so I can get some value. Oh, nice. Got that. Got that uh, globe this time. Get that Sylvanas up to speed. You can see that the, the heal is really big, you know. I'm gonna get her, get her full health. Now I'm gonna go up top and help my team here. The enemy team is still down on experience. I'm gonna try to sleep somebody. I, I actually do unfortunately miss. So I don't get that... Um, don't get that bonus. Uh, I do have three seconds. Holy oh, shit. That was scary. Monk is I can't hit anything. All right, let's, let's go, team. Let's do this, team. Now, now it's our turn. We're gonna get level ten, and I'm gonna get stunned. So let's take him now. I should have pressed my W on him. <laughs> that was bad. Uh, are we gonna nano boost? I don't think we have too many nano boost targets. No, I'm gonna die of here. And basically, this allows me to stand um, still and have global range on with my abilities. Wow, I, I'm actually hearing the, these. Um, and it's very much, very much like auto attacks in, um, very much like Anna's auto attacks in, um, in Overwatch. Which uh, basically, if I hit a friendly, it's gonna heal them. If I hit an enemy, it's gonna do damage them. It's basically like sniping people. Oh rip! Walk a dick, you walk around. Oh, correct. 
Oh, she got the dragon. Wait, what? 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 Just walk away. Walk away. Like, walk away, please. Just, just, just no reason to stay. Boop. Why do you keep waking him up? Uh, we're fine, though. We have a very good disengage here. I'm gonna just back here for mana. I don't want to use my tap. Even though this map, I feel like tap is just very, very overrated. Um, it just gets destroyed extremely quickly by, by all the mobility creep, creep that we have in the game uh, now. I haven't recorded um, a video in a while, and we ha we, you have missed so many different releases of heroes and stuff, so I'm, I'm excited to get back, but what I want to do from now on is not really just look at new heroes and... Um, Oh, he doesn't have. Oh, he doesn't have and two. I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm like all, all scared of the two and stuff. Oh, nice. Um, I'm like, I'm afraid to walk up. But yeah, but basically, what I want to do is, um, oh no. Uh, is give a little bit more meaningful content. And what I mean by that is like guides and, and actual how to plays and, and builds rather than just jumping onto every single hero. Uh, like like basically what I did, you know, basically what I did was like A through Z series and stuff like that, which eh, I'm not going to say it was a good idea. I'm not going to say it was a bad idea either. I have to keep watching my position. Thank you for knocking me out of it. I don't care really. Focus the Alex Russell? There we go! Easy money! And now we just... Brother? You might want to dodge that. Just saying. Oh, I missed that. Oh, I'm trying to heal him, but it's not enough. Reduces healing here, so he gets no healing for three seconds, and we, we got a kill. Very, very nice team. So you can see, I'm, I'm, it's kind of like a baiting game, you know, where, where I'm baiting people into diving because we are so low. I, I keep my my friendies alive, and then you know, it's it's a matter of uh, of just outplaying um, by using the grenade and what you have to your advantage. You know, sometimes the friendies will just juke, juke even me. I'm looking, at, I'm looking at the health totals. So basically, when you, when you have Eye of Oris, you want to be looking up here, um, on the on this like quick access basically, to see who's low, and then you can uh, then you can. Decide if you need to heal them or not. Oh no, that's that's gonna be a kill, yeah. One W missed. Q rather. Run, Rainer! So now we have now we finish our quest, uh, which gives us an additional range on our Q, and also it will pierce. So basically, I'm, I can heal up to two people now. So my heals aren't you know as focused as they were before. Right at level 13, we picked up a town, which uh, basically whoever gets our healing from our Q, I think we should be winning. Should be winning. Because I, I got I got a huge huge W on there. Yeah, that was a huge huge 
W. Massive. That was disgusting, team. Hells to the year, boys. Okay, so basically, uh, I saw a big clump of friendlies and enemies at the same time, and I decided to throw a W on there, which again increased the healing that my friendlies are receiving, and reduced um, the healing that the enemies are receiving. Let's go for sharpshooter. Sharpshooter. And that allowed us to win the fight, also giving us the objective. Sharpshooter is very interesting because it's almost like Snipe Master for Nova. I'm not sure if you guys are, remember that talent because it's, I think it's her baseline now. I don't, I'm not too uh, keen on playing Nova now. I, I missed that? What? Um, so basically, when we hit our Q, we get additional healing. I think it's like 5% or something, every single Q we hit. As you can see there, it's a quest. Yeah, it's, it's, I think it's I think up to ten, and then when we miss, we basically we reset that. So you can see we're still still hitting it, still hitting it. Oh, you might be dead. Dude. Okay, you're fine. Five hundred damage. Oh, I actually hit him. Holy shit! I thought I'm gonna miss him there. So you can see 600 uh, a heal and also you know with the increased range and everything like that just becomes really impressive okay now i missed i did that on purpose of course <laughs> and um and our team's feeling and you can see that that is just a reset back to oh nice pick. oh no i missed that that's huge i want to pick that pick, pick those up All right, here we go. Don't don't let your dreams be dreams. Yeah, dude, we got that keep, boy. I'm not sure how you're still getting all these like keeps and stuff. Like, pretty not so. Oh no, I'm greedy with you know with trying to get uh, stacks. For my quest. I'm gonna try to sleep him here, brother. You are overextended, my dude. I mean. Just do this and I'll just run. <laughs> well, it was nice knowing you, cruel world. I actually still have a chance of making it alive. Oh no. He just had this W. Oh, you missed. Run! I run for so long, I was trying. No, run! Uh, damage from from this from the meme strike is insane. Meme strike is too much. Yeah, we just I, I again I should have just left just left them both to die. Um, I should have left that Rainer as well. That was my bad for uh, for dying there. Again, you can say, oh my god, the teammates you know they stayed too long. That's why I died. No, that's why that, that's why they died. You should have just backed, let them die. Uh, you know, you pink uh, two, three times, and then you just you just back. Fortunately, the enemy team is not doing boss. Which is very good good news. Very, very good news. I'm going for the letting dong place. Spawn an eight, so I'm not, I won't be able to help my team. You are dead, brother. I have no clue what you're doing, dude. I do have the snipe thing. Nice. Am I mounted? I'm not mounted. Why am I not mounted? What the fuck is going on? I have no clue what was going on right there. Wait, she popped dragon? Come on, guys. Let's get to work. I sidestepped that, that's horse shit, dude. No! No! Dude, you saw me sidestepping this way and it still somehow hit me. Uh, uh, I outplayed that. You guys didn't see that. Okay, upon stacking 5 doses. So usually I go for Nana Boost. That's why I don't have this problem. You don't kill him, unfortunately, he just jumps over. 
Monka, he has five health. Well, rip. Mm, basic attacks increase. So I usually go for, probably for dynamic shooting here. But how good is this going to be? Upon stacking five doses, heroes are put to sleep for two seconds. So it's a little bit of a smaller version of the sleep dart. They're probably bossing. And I hate this talent because I feel like the explosion is really small. Really small. So um, the, the the team fight has to be really, really condensed, which it, which it isn't. They're not bossing? What is this game? Okay, we're going to go for dynamic shooting. Basically, every single auto... We will be increasing our auto attack speed by a ten by ten percent um, for four seconds. Basically, we can just keep 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 that stacking, and we're gonna get insane attack speed, which is gonna allow us to you know apply our stacks. Like look at this. How isn't this monk ass? Okay, enemy is uh, being a schlong. And our team's feeding. Good job, Rainer. I don't know. I've I've had a really bad session. Uh, no, not really bad, but not the greatest session of Hero League today on stream. By the way, if you guys didn't know, I do stream on a regular basis now again. So you can go and check that out. Easy money. Okay, we should get rid of that completely. So you we reach max. You want to switch target because obviously your auros don't do damage. They just apply damage. What? Le what was that shield, brother? I mean, I appreciate the effort. Oh my god, look at that heal. I'm, I really tried. Gas, nice heal. Got to sleep. Missed the Q. Like a pro, missing the Qs. Alright, we got the quad kill, we just go bus. Let's go, team! Let's get boss! We got Rainer! This thing is gonna get chomped. So you can see, like, number one thing what you will do with Ana is basically just positioning. Like, you need to be positioned. Oh shit! Super well. Like in fights, you need to you need to be like super far back, and um, you need to be uh, basically your Q has you know has such high range. Just so it can basically reach people and you can be safe. Of course, you will get the, you, you will get um, dove. You will get dove, right? Is that in the word or doven or divin or divin or I don't know. My English is poor sometimes. Um, people will dive you. <laughs> Therefore, and that's what you have your E for, dude. That one coin turn in, um, and then you can you can basically put them to sleep. What I have to improve as Anna right now is being more reactive with my um, with my E. Basically, I need to follow up more on the enemy on my friendly stuff. I need to, um, and I also need to be more reactive uh, using this a little bit more defensively. My team is walking in, so I can just sneakily do this. Let's ramp up our auto attack speed here. All right, we have all keeps. Gonna reduce his healing so he doesn't get any healing at all. Gonna keep healing our friendly, uh, friendly neighborhood Savannas, and just like that, we win the game. We had a few slip ups, but I was able to kind of show up, Anna. Even though you want to go down the boost most of the game, I just went horror. I have Horus because why not let it fly? And sometimes I like to, I just switch it up. Good game, not bad. 
not bad. You, you guys, you guys kind of get the idea of how Anna works, and and I really think she's fun. Um, she's kind of this Nova, but with healing, which is what I really like. Like if you like supporting people and you also like doing it like at range, I would definitely suggest checking out Nova when she's on front on free rotation or just giving giving her giving her her giving her a whirl in the try mode. So basically the build I go for is uh, you go for piercing darts. This is the only basically this is the build that you want to go for almost every single game. The only tier you want to change on is, is level seven. Let me just show you quickly. Talon's level seven. Um, I will mostly go for mind numbing agent. Uh, basically, if they have like a hyper carry, let's say they have a butcher, let's say they have this, they have a zoo gin, uh, a rainer even. This is really good because after the sleep is over, they're gonna be blind for two seconds, which is really good, right? But if if instead they have something like a Kelpas or a Jaina or Li Meng, you can just go for uh, for a mind numbing agent, and every single dose on that hero will reduce their uh, the spell damage that they they do. I usually don't go for debilitating dart because it's another skill shot and it's about the same size of E, which is hard to hit, and it's on a little bit of a bigger cooldown, which is twenty seconds. Um, what it does, it reduces the damage they deal by 50% for 3 seconds and also slows them. Um, but again, it's another skill shot to, he to, to hit, so I usually don't go for that, but you can, you can, you can play around with it. Um, again, you can be a little bit more responsive here. I usually go for, this, this, uh, for the movement speed because it's the, it's the safest, but uh, if the Amy team has a tons, tons of roots and slows, like maybe they have like an Arthas, Maybe they have like a Jaina or something like that, then this would be pretty strong. And then if they have a lot of stun, like a Muradin or or ETC or something like that, basically you will uh, you will like cleanse a stun, and that's about it. I really don't like any other talents, so you can be flexible on thirteen and seven. But besides that, I do believe that going for piercing darts, overdose, then one of these two temporary blindness or mind numbing agent. Then you go for Nana Boost most of the time, about 99% of the time. Eye of the Aur Eye of Aurus is good in situations where you aren't in the fight sometimes, but you should be every single time. And Nana Boost, of course, will instantly boost an allied hero, restoring 200 mana for the next 8 seconds. They gain 30% spell power and next basic attack, basic ability cooldowns recharge 100%. 150% faster, so you know, like a Jaina, Kel'thas, anything that uses abilities, even with something like an Artanis or Arthas, this is really, really good on. So, doesn't matter the composition, this is going to be better 99% uh, of the time. Um, again, 13, I mostly go for Speed Serum, but any of those are viable under the right circumstances. On 16, I do go for Sharpshooter, and on 20, I go for Nano Infusion every single time. But, um, I don't know, you so dynamic shooting is not that great because you do not deal damage with your auros. You just apply, and even if you do, I'm not I, I'm actually even sure, um, <laughs> but um, you still, like, this allows you to put your stacks faster, but I still, I'm not a big fan, probably some all-in doses. I think any of, those, any of those two are fine, but Nano Infusion is just so much better, so yeah thanks so much for watching today it was a pleasure to have you guys again on my channel much much love hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did slap that, slap that like rating it really helps me out subscribe to the channel i'm planning to post a lot more videos you can also check out the twitch link in the in the in the description below and i also started doing some personal training stuff i also started training working out um, and giving the advice that that really took me to the next level one more than else. So you can check that out as well in the description below. You guys are awesome. Stay awesome. And I'll see you guys in the next one.